watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well today we're going to be looking at another Rough Rider knife. This one from the classic Cinnamon Bones Tag series. Now these have the carbon steel blades and the imitation bone stag handles. Take a closer look at the box here. The model number is RR2428. Got your always high quality handmade pocket knives. Cancer warning, China, the country of origin. Plain on that side. And then the web address on the back. This magnetic style closed box with the felt liner and you get some desiccant. Knife comes wrapped and this black paper. So, what are we looking at? We're looking at the bow canoe today. Now, this is the first time I've tried this pattern. First one that I've owned. So, we're going to explore this knife a little more maybe than some of my other reviews. But uh, it's got a 3 and an 8, sorry, 3 and 5 eighths inch handle closed. So, not quite as large as, say, a sow belly, just shy of 3 and 3 quarter. But uh, you get nickel silver bolsters on this guy with uh, the pinch on the ends and the thread, single thread. Some black uh, G10 underliners there. Or, and the nice bone stag, imitation bone stag there with some nice grooves. Now on some previous knives from this series we've had to worry about the kind of the color coming off of the handle. This one does not seem to have that issue. You look at my thumb there, I'm not having anything come off. I'm rubbing on that pretty good and I'm not getting that. Now I've had some others that, that did have that problem but looks like they've rectified it. They've done something a little different or, and made improvements on these lighter releases in this series. So that's a good good thing. Uh, I do like the bolsters, the way that they cover the edge of the tangs. Those are nice and smooth and you get a nice smooth transition all the way across the, the arc of the top of the knife. Uh, the, the bow in this is pretty pronounced though I would say and I think that's probably why you know, I've maybe waited as long as I have to buy the knife. Just wasn't sure how much I would like such a pronounced bow. Now, I'm a big sow belly fan, which has a bow in it, but it's not nearly as severe as this knife. Now, we've got some brass pins here, and I have to say that those are pretty well smooth across the front face of the handle there. Now, on the back, we do have one proud pin right here. Didn't get... Uh, quite filed down enough and you can see it just kind of sticking up just slightly there but it's not so bad that it's going to cut you or hurt you or anything but you do feel it particularly when you bring your finger down from right to left in that angle there but that is pretty typical of any kind of knife with a deep amount of grooves in it like the imitation stag is doing here but overall very attractive handle like all the color transitions you get anything from white to black to dark brown to tan so a lot of a lot of colors going on there and they blend well together did a good job of imitating uh, stag bone in my opinion and it uh, looks quite nice now I have concerns about the amount of bow on this knife we're going to kind of look at that when we get into the blades but uh, overall I love that the outside look of this thing. It is a very attractive piece from the exterior. You do have some uh, brass liners there on the bottom and you will notice a pretty respectable gap there on the bottom. I wouldn't call that minor, maybe not major, but uh, a little more than minor on that particular one there. It goes from here all the way to the end of the bolster here, separating the bottom spring from the bottom liner. But uh, this knife right now, you're looking at $13.59 on Smoky Mountain Knife Works uh, on sale. Might be closer to around $16 because that's what it's priced at Chicago Knife Works. But right now on sale on Smoky Mountain Knife Works. So, you know, for under $14, we're not going to be super picky about a gap. But uh, I would say that that is a little bigger than some I've come to know from Rough Rider. Alright, so let's look at these blades. The first blade, of course, is this spear point blade. 
and it's pretty attractive styled you've got a long pole on it with the match strike and then you've got the swedging there now this did come a little scratched right out of the box and it's not rubbing on anything so I'm not exactly sure how that scratch got there that's just how it came mirror finish polish on it take a close look at the blade edge uh, the grind on it not perfectly even get a little heavier here down at the rounded edge of the knife rounded part of the knife blade there and this side appears to be maybe a little heavier grind all the way across so not perfectly even but uh, if we do a cut test on this guy we do find that it does a respectable job now this is a little thicker blade than some so not going to be particularly thin behind the blade but uh, it does a decent job of cutting the paper there as you saw now the tang stamp is a little buried in here but we do have that you can see the top half of it there just the Rough Rider font stamp on it and it is a stamp not an itch and if we look at the back of the blade we can just make out the the uh, carbon steel etch on there to let you know it's carbon steel but you can't even read the your model number or that it's from China on there because it's just buried inside the behind the bolster there because the tangs just don't extend very far out so but uh, you get half stops on this guy and the pull on it is pretty marvelous I'd say it's about an eight it locks up much like a sunfish would from Rough Rider so let's take a listen to that and enjoy the sounds of the walk and talk very nice all right so let's take a look at some measurements on this blade we've got a to the tang just shy of two and a half inches there and then we've got a cutting edge of about two and a quarter inches so that's definitely going to be UK legal no issues with that now if we look at our secondary blade we can see that it's much like Papa Bear Blade, this is Baby Bear Blade, same shape, just got the nail neck there and the swedge and blade grind on this one seems to be a little better than the main blade, a little more even. Might be a little heavier on this side than this side, but it is fairly even across the edge of the blade. Feels fairly sharp there. Again, the mirror polish on it, and we have a tang stamp on this one just like the other, but you just like I say you're You've got it buried inside the bolster there, so it's tough to see. Half stops again on this one. And the pull on it, again, is pretty pretty firm. I'd say maybe just an 8 on this one instead of an 8.5 on the main blade. But we'll listen to the, the snap on it as well. Very nice. Very nice pull. Now, what are my thoughts about the knife? Well... Again, the practicality of it was my main concern with the amount of bow on this knife. Just didn't know how comfortable it would be. But I got to tell you, with just the main blade open, that is not a problem. Uh, I don't really feel a, a massive hot spot. Uh, your hand kind of forms around the blade, even though it is pressing into your hand just slightly. I wouldn't say it's the most comfortable knife in the world in this position, but it's not a it's not an uncomfortable knife. It's just sort of, you, you can feel it, you know it's there, but uh, unless you've just got a death grip on it, it's probably not going to be a problem for you. Now, I will say, with the main blade closed and the secondary blade closed, now we have an issue here. It's not that comfortable to use with anything other than a light grip. But with that smaller blade, it does make sense that you'd be doing something a little less taxing on the knife. And, you know, with just a light grip on it, it's not going to bother you too much. I do like that it's a little swelled here. You can see the profile. There is some swell to it with the handles, which makes it just a bit more comfortable in that position. But into your hand, that blade, that main blade does 
does dig in your hand if you're doing something firm grip with it. So if you're whittling something really hard and you're stuck in there, it's it's gonna it's gonna be felt on your hand and definitely not something you'd want to use long term in that position. So I was <clears throat> somewhat accurate in my assessment that that might be an issue and uh you know again it's just a matter of like how much are you going to use the secondary blade and then how hard you're going to use it so it comes down to a preference thing and use type situation but i do like that the bolsters cover the both the tip and the edge of the blade on the tang you know you don't have that elbow sticking up there on either side poking in at you or making it difficult to get in and out of the pocket but the downsides I say would be the the grip comfort with using the secondary blade and also it's going to be a little more difficult to find a slip for this guy and it just doesn't fit anything that I've got it's just too wide uh, I've got a slip for some fish and it doesn't really slip into it very well either it, it's too loose so it's you know like the sunfish slip is too big and all these others are not wide enough so gonna have to try to find something that will fit this and I don't have a solution to that yet so it'll be something I'll have to further explore but again I, I like the model like the uh, the blades being carbon blades that's really nice they're gonna sharpen up really nice shouldn't have any issues with the uh, maintenance of it a little bit of a minor gap a little bit un uncomfortable on the secondary blade usage uh, a little bit of an issue trying to find a slip for it i would say those are the main three problems i have with a knife but overall i still do uh enjoy this pattern not going to be one that i probably get like a, a ton of i don't know that i would necessarily like this more than just a normal canoe but it is one i wanted to try out and it does have big beefier blades would be a little more heavier use than a normal canoe i would say you know that main main spear blade is uh darn near darn near sunfish like with the uh, amount of pull on it and the, and the uh, nice snap on it so it's definitely a, a, a knife you could put a little more uh oomph behind if you know what i mean so then you know you still have a confidence to use it but uh really like the handles very attractive and uh, it's just going to come down to you know how do i carry this without my slip i'm gonna have to definitely find one before i ever get to to use it in any kind of meaningful way i think because i don't want to carry it without with these nice handles and get it all scratched up so there you have it guys that's my review uh, hopefully it was helpful useful and provided information that was of pertinence to you but if you like this review make sure you like subscribe Hit the bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. And as always, I wish you a very fantastic day. And you guys take care.